George Grant. I teach online vocal toning, frame drum, and music meditation skills online. And today I want to present one pattern. We call this 332. Now I'm seated in a chair and this drum is resting on my leg. It's a karate chop at the top. It's like six and 12 o'clock. My leg, my knee, and my hand are gonna be holding the drum. So my dominant hand is free. Now I want my little finger to be way over the front, even a half an inch out in front of the drum so that my fingers are very loose and not involved with holding the drum. The side of my hand is holding the drum. Now I can let my thumb touch, but my palm of my hand is just like a, a little cave in there for a, some sort of small creature. But my fingers are just hanging. They're very loose. They're just hanging there. And I want my middle finger to point in this line across the drum, okay? Middle finger. That's how I hold the drum. My right hand, I put my thumb right here so that my ring finger is on the edge of the drum. Now, both of these should sound very similar to each other. Play along with me if you like. Learn your technique. Instead of the whole big pattern we're gonna do, just let's just learn the simple techniques first. Make a rhythm. Don't just fiddle around. Feel the music. Don't hurry. And by sheer repetition, your hands will get used to this. Okay, so bounce. We've learned to do this this way, but let's do it with our thumb. This is tricky, but you can do it. It just takes a little bit of uh, exploration. Right where my wrist creases, there's a line right there. I want that line to be lined up with the drum. My wrist is lined up with the edge of the drum. I don't want to be too far in. I don't want to be too far out. I need my wrist to be lined up, but I'm not going to touch the drum. I'm just lined up with it. This is on the drum, but this hand isn't on the drum. Now, the side of my thumb makes a nice drum mallet. That's a mallet, okay? This is also a mallet, the thumb. So what I'm gonna do is throw my thumb into the drum and let it bounce right off. I have to stay very loose, so we do this a lot. Make your hand rubber and then you're gonna get tight, shake it out again, you must stay loose. Your arm and your elbow and your shoulder have to be loose. Don't get tight, okay? Now, sometimes we just do it and rest. This is the three plus one pattern. Two, three. Be musical. And if you don't do it perfectly, that's okay. Just keep going. Let it go. Now, the thing to watch out for is you don't want to rotate past the point where the drum hits. That drum is going to, that finger is going to hit right there, but it's not going to, you are sort of throwing, you're kind of get wound up and then throw. It's like the baseball player's bat is back and then swing. But we don't swing all the way around in a circle. You swing only as far as you need. This is called bounce. Okay, now we've got stuck with three fingers. We've done this before with five fingers, but now we can take three fingers and make them one instrument. 
Stuck means stuck. It means stay on there a second. Okay? Now up here, we've got rim. Don't wind up and then try to hit it. Get ready. No, no. Just keep your finger like this and just touch it. If you touch at the right place, right out on the edge, right over the top of the wood, this is what we're doing. We're not in here like this. We're right on the wood. Directly, like a hammer hits that nail right on top. Okay? And you hear that kind of a pingy, high bell sound. Inside, it's different. Okay? Do your best to stay out there, and you'll refine it as you get better and better. So, we've got bounce and stuck and rim. But here's the pattern. Here's the sequence. The bottom, the middle, and the top. Bottom, middle, top. Play along. Now notice, stuck can set up the thumb. I'm setting up the thumb to do its stroke, okay? Stuck, bounce, rim. Now, the real rhythm and the feel of this is for the thumb and the bounce stroke to lead the one, two, three. So it's, this is the same sequence, but we're gonna feel the one with our thumb here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? Let's do it a few more times. One, two, three. 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 Now, the final rhythm is three, three, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three and three is two. Divided by two is four. This happens in four beats. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. This is a very useful pattern to know and to learn and to use. And it's syncopated. It's got a simple syncopation in it. There's a strong beat on an offbeat. It's not always on the downbeat. There's a strong stroke on an off beat. Just remember, three, three, two. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, rest. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, rest. Rest is part of music. It counts as part of the mathematics of eight strokes, eight units. Now, let's start nice and slow. Practice slow and steady and feel this flow. Don't speed up. Rewind this video a little bit and play some more. Play along. Keep with me. You can see what to do. You can feel. You can hear. And you'll memorize this pattern. And then you can play it a little faster. These techniques, just these techniques, beyond the 332 pattern, are very useful.
fiddle with them. Do it while you're listening to your favorite music so that you're always playing music. Try not to just fiddle around. Try to make a pattern and repeat it. The simple patterns are great. Don't, don't worry about being impressive and virtuosic. People want drummers to be simple and strong and stable so that they support other layers of drums, other singers, other dancers, saxophones, violins, anything. The art of accompaniment is to keep it strong and steady and stable. So never think that a simple pattern is some beginner's lightweight thing. You want to be simple and strong, but the more you practice slowly, the better your technique will become. So I hope this was useful. Rewind it, find the right numbers in this video so you can get right to where you need to be and practice and play along. If you've got any questions, please contact me at info at vocaltoning.net. And you can learn about vocal toning, sound healing meditation skills, and many other things. Please see my store and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. See you next time.